Hi guys, welcome back to Detailing and the Beast. This channel is just over two years old and I realised last week that I've never actually given you a rundown of the Beast in any of its forms. So today, here we are, I've come out, I've got myself a nice quiet spot and I'm going to run down everything that I've done to this Ford Ranger Wild Track. So this is my Ford Ranger Wild Track. It's a 65 plate. It's actually a 2016, a January 2016 car. It has done 26,000 miles, so it's still a puppy. It's in its infancy. It's not been running. Um, it's it's pampered, to be honest. Regardless of how it looks, and I'll show you around in a minute, it's really, really dirty, but it is really pampered and loved. I've done a hell of a lot of stuff on this car. Um, I'm going to show you around, show you everything I've done. Mostly it's aesthetics. Uh, there's a few power enhancements under the bonnet um, but we'll go through everything and I'll run down all the mods that I've had and hopefully that will put an end to some of the questions on you know what have you done to this how have you done that you know all of that sort of stuff let's get to it we'll start on the outside and we'll start at the front so we have USDM modules and fly eye on the headlights I've got some additional amber marker lights on the front grille. We have the IPF, this is a 20 inch double row light bar, private wild track number plate. We have the fog light units, these are the double units. These uh, used to have DRL rings on the outside, um, but the original units that came with these mouldings failed. So I had to find additional lights. These are just fogs now. We've got the Bonnet guard, that's an EGR. Bonnet work lights, these are with the amber covers. This is a trumpet that is uh, basically for my airflow kit, so we'll go under the bonnet in a minute, but this is, um, is a hose that runs all the way up through the bumper, it goes up through the arch, and then in through the uh, original air intake feed. We have the lower bar, that's the city bar from trucks. We also have the mid bar, the matching mid bar from trucks as well to mount the IPF light bar on. Moving around, we have the, the slimmer line arches. These are in wild track gray. Wheels. We have the Sen Del Rey S35s. These are 20 inch wheels running 305 50 R20 tires from Maxxis. These are the big horns. I think they're the 764s, I believe. Yeah, 764s from Maxxis. There's a three inch lift on the front. There's a two inch lift on the rear. This is just to uh, basically even it out a bit because I don't carry load that often. You have to excuse the state of it. I know this is a detailing channel, but it's also a 4x4 channel. <laughs> I have the lights underneath the sills. Now these are, they're actually triple way. So there's an amber light that goes on, you know, when you lock and unlock. And it's also, it's basically linked to the indicator. So it'll happen when the indicators are on. It'll happen when the hazards are on. There's then linked up to the courtesy light as well. So when the courtesy light on, there's a, a crisp white light there as well. 
There is another set of LEDs in that strip that can be linked up to your DRLs or your, your side lights even, um, but I've chosen not to connect them because I just think they look a bit weird when you're running them permanently. We have the smoked out indicator repeaters on the wing mirrors. I've done a video on them and how to fit them. Very, very easy job. Big impact as well. So I'd suggest, you know, if you haven't got any of them, go and get some. And we have also got the folding mirrors, the power mirrors module to make them go in on the button. Lock and unlock. We have the Climb Air Sport wind deflectors, front and rear. Excuse the barking dog. We've already been through the suspension at the rear, just a two inch lift on there, that's on blocks. We have the, these are from XO Customs. These are a really nice bit of kit. The replacement. Rear light clusters, really, really nice. Really bright in the dark, actually. I'll try and overlay some night shots in a minute as well. Got the Aeroclass canopy. Detailing in the beast decals. And we'll go through the roof bars in a minute because I have removed the roof bars off the main cab as well. Inside, not a lot different than normal, to be honest. I do have, knock that off. I do have, this is the TPMS. Uh, I've got the Sync 2 upgrade pack so we can play videos. So we've got all the features that come on a Fire Stick. You know, you've got the video streaming. We've got side-loaded apps. Uh, there's a couple on there for allowing us to get any film, any TV show. But I have a, a dog cage in my canopy, and I've now put a CCTV camera in there. So this is a, a live CCTV stream. From, it really is. I mean, you, the screen is already there. The screen's a great quality screen. All you I've got a HDMI in, USB in, etc, etc, so we can play videos on that, additional sat-navs, etc, etc. Um, that's a phone mount. So in there, that just literally is somewhere for me to mount my phone. Just stuck on. And that is, uh, I think that's pretty much it for the inside. I mean, we do have the, we have some additional courtesy lights. All under here, so I've, I've put in a Govi courtesy light kit that is the switch for the bonnet lamps the work lamps them ones the front led bar and the roof bar which i'll show you in a minute them are linked up to the high beam and they have got individual switches underneath the bonnet the roof bar that is a 40 inch i believe it's a 40 inch bar um, it is clear lens i've just got some lens covers on there just as a little bit of an aesthetic thing. Uh, a short, stubby bee sting aerial. That was really difficult to find, actually. Um, one that had worked with the sat-nav. These brackets. So this is done the proper way. This has got gutter strips off of a Ranger Limited model. And then we have F-150 brackets for the light bar, all mounted up properly. I did want to remove my roof rails anyway because um, I can show you this on a picture and overlay now. I've got a roof box, a huge roof box that spans the whole width of this truck, whole length of this truck. So what I needed to do was to get some uh, universal Thule or Thule foot packs with a Aeroblade, black Aeroblade roof bar. One on the front, one on the rear. The bar isn't on at the minute but the foot pack is there. But there's a problem with the Aeroclass canopy. The Aeroclass canopy doesn't bear weight. Excuse that dog. So what I had to do was get the Load Max kit. Now this is a Load Max kit from Australia. And basically it's a kit that allows you to transfer weight through the plastic roof. There's no load bearing in this, by the way. And then all the way down and it mounts on the tub, the side of the tub. And that basically transfers the weight away from your canopy, down this pole, and into the tub itself. Whilst we're in the rear, I'll show you what we've got. So we have 
additional lighting all the way around the outside that is linked up to the switch here so when you close the lid and close the close the back it all goes off we've got a leisure battery with a new max battery box SeaTech dual charging kit um, predominantly just running um, a fridge at the minute in here so I've got my fridge for when we go out days out camping etc etc dog cage in the back and then obviously my karma cloud if you haven't seen one of them go and look them up absolutely fantastic for days at the beach <laughs> brilliant um, all of that sitting on top of a bed rug so that makes it a lot more like a boot a lot more usable one thing I'd like to do and I don't like about this canopy is the color on the inside I would like to make it uh, black at some point not sure how I'm going to do that without creating such a mess but uh, yeah if anybody's got any suggestions let me know don't mind something like roller paint or something like that something easy something that I can not not let get unwieldy in here not get paint everywhere you know something I can I can keep nice and neat but make it all black that does have a sliding window at the back as well but there isn't the corresponding one on the cab got the replacement Ford badge on the back I do want to get this blacked out that's been on the on the cards for a long while uh, there's a 12 volt point there which links up to the uh, leisure battery in the back one thing I didn't point out earlier, everything on this truck has been tinted. So the cab has been done, um, the, the rear windows, and these in here have been done limo black. These have been done uh, slightly more, um, slightly less, sorry, so you can see the light through there. The windscreen hasn't been touched. Just show you this side for the light bar. So the light bar, cable comes in I have got some conduit that goes over this it's just off at the minute because I had a problem with this cable um, goes down through a grommet through into the truck under the roof lining down the interior and back into the engine bay we'll have a look in the engine bay in a second under the bay then so what we've got um, I've recently done a battery replacement. I've got a lot of stuff coming off here. This is the main cable for the leisure battery. I then have multiple cables in here. Uh, we've got the SeaTech quick charge system there as well. Battery's needing a charge by the looks of it. We do have a TDI tuning box. Um, as soon as lockdown's over, I was meant to get that swapped out last year for a proper remap and just haven't had time. All the lights, so everything, the roof lights, the bonnet lights, the front um, LED bars, all of these are on individual switches, so you can switch the whole lot off come MOT time. We have the HDI intercooler, so we've got the upgraded silicon hoses for the HDI cooler. HDI intercooler behind there, nice quality logo on that. Big, big, thick core intercooler. And then we've obviously got the induction kit. Now you may notice this is slightly different. I'm testing out a bigger program um, cone at the minute for the kit. But basically these induction kits, I make them, I sell them. So if you want one of them, get in touch. And for under there, that is pretty much it. Just a quick addition in here. We've got LEDs in every single one of these bulbs now. So, sorry, these, these are originals because they're using the USDM modules, but these are LED side lights. We've got LED full beam headlights and we've got the LED uh, daytime running lights and full beams. So everything is crisp white on the front of this. Um, just to carry on showing you where that trumpet comes out, if we can see it. Down there is a hose duct, so that is feeding direct cold air from the front of the truck. You don't need this to run this kit, by the way. Um, nobody else who's bought one has fitted one of these forced air kits. Um, it's just something that I have done. Plenty of cold air goes into that. Nobody's had a problem. So future plans. Well, I've had this truck now four years it's only done 26,000 miles so it's still a baby in terms of how how many miles it's done but I have had it a little while I want to carry on with the de-chroming 
So over here, I've blacked out the side steps and I've done some other bits and pieces. Um, I want to do something around that badge there. I want to, I, I don't know what to do with that. That needs dechroming. Um, and the other, the final piece of dechroming that I want to do is obviously that tailgate badge. That's easy enough. I believe that's just two bolts on the inside and you can take that off. Yeah, I don't, I'd like to go larger on the wheels, the tires and the lift, to be honest. Um, but the problem is once I back this into my garage, the garage door actually comes to like here or the, the brickwork on the garage, hence why I can't have the rear bar on and the roof box all the time. So yeah, if I lift this anymore, if I go bigger tires, bigger suspension, anything like that will cause me not to be able to get this in the garage. And you know, contrary to how it looks now, I do like to look after this. So having the indoor space and the indoor work time on it is, is crucial for me. So that's probably why I haven't gone any bigger. Um, if I was to get something else that lived in the garage and keep this, and this was an outside toy, then yeah, maybe we may go bigger. Other than that, just some interior things. So I would like, and I've had these before, but sent them back because they were cheap and nasty. But I'd like to revisit the TV headrests. So I had a set of headrests that had monitors in and DVD players for the kids. I'd like to revisit that. The power is already all in the seat from last time. So I've just capped that off and kept it. Um, and potentially, now this is probably gonna be a Marmite mod, but I'd like to get hold of another black roof lining um, and put in the star lights, you know, like on the rollers. Yeah, I'd like one of them. I think that'd be cool. But other than that, for now, I'm pretty happy with it. It's been like this for a little while. And I don't think I want to change it. So there you go. That's my Ford Ranger Wild Track, the beast that is the detailing and the beast channel. Hopefully you enjoyed it. I know you've seen this car a lot on this channel. There may be some changes to come in the future, but I'll document all of them on the channel if there are. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.